Hey everybody, it's Alila and I here. Welcome if you're new and welcome back if you're a loyal bestie. Hey Leah gang, what's up, what's poppin'? So I was asked a few business questions on my social media and in my group chats. So today's video, I just wanted to film a Q&A business edition. Let's get right into it. So we have 10 questions and I'm gonna answer them to the best of my ability everything is my own experience everything is my personal answers and what I feel about them so the first question is how long have you been in business I've been in business since 2018 November so November 7th makes four years of me being in business per. Um, what's the biggest amount of orders you ever shipped out I want to be honest I think maybe 20 at once one time shipping 20 back in 2020 i used to get a lot a lot of orders especially wholesale so i would ship them as they came first come first serve and my free days which really was on the weekend during covid i honestly didn't have much to do i was just working coming home working on business working coming home working on business so i was getting so many orders back then i was wholesaling it, it was a lot but it was definitely worth it and i believe like i said about 20 orders in a time could be more could be less but roughly 20 orders um number three what's the best shipping supplier to use i personally only use usps that's the only one i've ever used um back when my mom was working it was definitely way more convenient because being that she was a window clerk she would just take my orders with her to work and then I would just get them shipped out that way. So it was very, very convenient. It was very easy to do. She would just ship out my orders at work. Um, number four, being a new business owner on a budget, what are some things you recommend to buy to help take professional pictures of your products? I highly suggest getting a camera. The camera that I use is the Nikon D3500 to take pictures with. I suggest getting different backdrops, ring lights, tripods, if you can't invest in a camera, just get a tripod to use for your phone. Ring lights definitely help. Lights in general, there's so many different types of lighting that you can get. Get those. You could get poster boards. You could get um, markers. You can get a light box, which a light box goes back into lighting. It's basically literally what it sounds like. It's a box, and it has LED lights going through it, so that way you can... Um, Sorry, my fault. So that way you can take really nice professional pictures. Um, also, when taking pictures, a tip that I've learned in the past purchasing an ebook off of a business friend was that it's very eye catching to the viewer. When um, it's very eye catching to the viewer when you have multiples in one picture. So basically, if you're having a few lip glosses. In one picture then that's very eye-catching instead of having just one gloss in a picture it's, it's all about the aesthetics baby and I highly suggest when taking pictures have all your pictures correlate be the same aesthetics the same theme all that with your branding I highly suggest doing so also um, another thing that's really important is it make sure your pictures are quality content you can literally use the latest iPhone or whatever iPhone you have and then edit your pictures a little bit. Don't alter the color, especially if you're selling cosmetics because your customer wants to see the exact color that they are receiving. But edit your pictures a little bit. Play with the lighting, play with the features, etc. Um, something else I recommend is getting props. Maybe wooden pieces to lay your products on top of it or just different things like candles, whatever you need as props to take with your quality content um also white backgrounds go a long long way so if you can use white paper there was at one point i was literally using printing paper to take pictures on top of because it was white and it just looked nice um question five how do i grow my business traffic on my website so that can be done many many ways you could do in-person um conversations 
which means you give out your business cards, you talk about your business, you show them your website, and you draw attention to your website that way. Doing pop-up shops, you can make them subscribe to your website. Doing giveaways will bring target um will bring traffic to your website because it could one of your rules could be you have to subscribe to my my website um another way is for sure always talking about your website whether you're going on live making statuses promoting your website whatever it is just talk about your website all the time also very important um not only building traffic is important to your website but make sure your website is very authentically pleasing i've heard Little goes a long way. The simpler designs go a long way. Um, a lot of the big name or like small businesses that I know that are doing successful have white backgrounds on their website. That definitely helps. Um, having a logo and all that good stuff. My bad, y'all. So, all that good stuff helps. Um, yeah. So, question number six. Where can I get my business card made for affordable price? So, as far as made, I'm not sure if you're talking about designs. But if you are talking about designs, I do create simple, affordable business card designs and thank you cards designs. Um, I also do create content like pictures and stuff like that so if you guys do need professional pictures for your brands hit me up and we could talk about pricing and such i'm also an influencer so depending on what you sell you could also purchase some of my influencing packages but business cards made printing wise whether your local staples your local office max or vistaprint online i'm not sure what you mean affordable but those sites i know definitely does it and i personally only use vistaprint I catch them on a sale. That's how you get more bang for your buck. And also purchasing in larger quantity gets you more bang for your buck as well. Um, is brand so seven? Is branded packaging needed? Branded packaging needed when you're just starting out? Yes and no. Because as a business owner, if you see longevity within your brand, you want people to know who you are from your aesthetics, your branding. You want them to know who you are. From the beginning and i say this because especially when businesses go a long way um if you have like a logo or something a symbol that represents your brand if anybody's in the street wearing your brand they know where it's from or just online a po a viral post goes up goes active or whatever and they see your logo you want them to know who you are in your brand so i highly suggest doing um brand and packaging this is my opinion I personally didn't start off with branded packaging. It wasn't important back then. Nobody really knew what it was. But nowadays, it's definitely important. And I highly suggest doing so if you can. A very important website, I would say, is Sticker Mule. Sticker Mule, you can definitely do branding packaging and branding, like, everything, honestly. Um, eight, my favorite product that I sell. My favorite product definitely has to be lip gloss. Because lip gloss goes a long way. I literally just wear lip gloss and my makeup, um, my look is complete. Look, uh, lip, lip gloss really goes a long way. Um, I get really creative with my lip gloss, especially when I used to make it more consistent. It's actually fun. I got into the zone of making it. Lip gloss is one of the handmade products that I've stuck out with for the longest time. Um, so yeah. Number nine, how do you reach your target audience to engage with? How do you reach your target audience to engage with? Um, going live. Your audience wants to see more of a um, personality behind the brands opposed to just product pictures, product videos, etc. And you build your target audience that way. Also, I say like giveaways. Um... People love free stuff, so they're definitely going to engage in free products. Who isn't? Um, yeah. I mean, I hope that answered really your question. I wasn't sure what you meant, but yeah. Um, number 10. 
how do you stay motivated when you go without sales wow um this is a big one it's very hard to stay motivated honestly without going with sales because it's like damn is this really worth it you start really questioning your business questioning yourself questioning your life questioning everything because it's just so much goes on behind the scenes that really nobody knows about and it's like very frustrating especially when you live with your parents it's harder um yeah so when i go without sales i literally just try to plan for the future plan for sales plan for different things um i try to draw my audience attention as well as like um yeah like i really just try to draw my audience attention i try to um to giveaways to get them to like want to purchase i go live back when like i was really 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 consistent with my business i used to go live all the time and i've made at least two sales every time i went live especially when my facebook before i used to go to facebook jail and stuff my lives used to really be popping or whatever and i would always get sales so yeah just stay motivated um i actually got a reading one time and the lady said that my father wants to see my business strive and wants me to continue going and never to give up and i was made for this shit so that's a big way i stay motivated because i know like great it shall come and i will definitely be better in my business and stuff so yeah um that's really it for today's video i hope you guys enjoy it i'm kind of tired so i had like really bad mind fog a lot of the video but i wanted to get this content out for you guys um this video has been highly suggested I've been getting a lot of questions recently, so I wanted to dedicate a, a video directly to that. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Be sure to subscribe to our channel, put in your post notification, give us a big thumbs up, and comment down below. Please help us engage um, and grow our watch time hours. Thank you guys. Bye.